Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool single slot payphone and this is John's payphone from Kentucky. And so basically what's going on here is I have it apart and there is no keys or locks to this payphone, but John has his T key. And he wants us to install uh, a body lock and also a vault lock. And so we're going to get him some locks and keys. And then what we want to do on this PC board here that uh, actually works the unit and we have our keypad out because we are doing our uh, initial checks to this telephone and uh, we're going to design out a plan here of how we're going to uh, repair this telephone and convert it so that John doesn't have to worry about any programming issues with this board that's in here. And so we'll either reconfigure this board and use the uh, circuitry that we need to make this telephone work the way we want it to work uh, or we will install uh, another network and go from there. A lot of times we redesign the board that's in them and use the circuitry that we need. So this is the initial checkout. We're just going to be going through it and uh, seeing what we want to do and drawing out a plan and then uh, what we'll do is get some more video of this as we move along in the uh, repair and conversion of this telephone. He's got some nice informational cards here on the front panel and uh, so this is a really nice single slot payphone. Some work has already been done to this payphone and probably what had happened is they have a modular port here that someone's installed and some work has been done around the uh, coin chute Probably what they did was got this telephone working, then it lost its programming, and there was no receive. And that's not an uncommon problem. If you do not work around the uh, programming issue on the board or install another network, uh, you'll always have that type of problem. And I see a lot of that. Uh, they come into the shop all the time that way. Uh, somebody's glitched the board and it works for a while and then all of a sudden it doesn't work any longer and so we're going to get that squared away for John. So we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay we're back now and I'm going to kind of show you a little bit about what's going on. Uh, we have our uh, modular port installed now and so basically with this unit here that was originally on the uh, PC boards we can plug our line cord in now because we've installed our modular port, but we will also be able to add tip and ring if someone wants to hardwire this telephone. So we have two options, plug a line cord into it or tip and ring for the line cord if they hardwire it. So that's a good situation there, and we'll be installing that. We uh, have installed a plate here on where the main PC board was which is this and we've removed the main PC board so now John doesn't have to worry about any of his uh, programmable boards now we we won't have to worry about them giving uh, him any trouble any longer because we are going to um, configure this a totally different way with a different network and, and configure it uh, and design it a totally different way. And so this is our keypad that we have apart and we're working on that and we're going to start wiring everything up. So And then we have to recreate a bell circuit so that our bells will ring. So we're going to take a short break and start working towards finishing up this telephone. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we are finished up with uh, our bell circuit, our network that we've built, and uh, wiring. So basically, we have the keypad apart because we have to go into that and tie into the circuits that we need to uh, tie into 
with our network that we have. And now this gets us away from any programming issues. So we have uh, the keypad apart, but what we can do is a test. So we can take our modular plug, line plug, and plug it into our modular port that we've created here. And we also have uh, a connection block here that came with the phone, but we reinstalled it into our newer situation here that we have and we can simply plug the line cord in or we can hardwire it. We can go either way. So we want to go ahead and plug the unit in. I want to give you some dial tone. And if you watch the analyzer here, we'll swing around a little bit and we'll go ahead and dial our numbers on the keypad. We want to end in a 2, and I want to transmit into the handset now. So if you watch the red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. Now we want to reach over here and hang the telephone up, give you some dial tone, and we'll walk through our numbers one more time. I'll end in a 2. Now I want to go ahead and disconnect the unit because I want to put everything back together again and uh, then we want to install our locks and we have our locks now so we'll go ahead and uh, get a little more video as we move along into that situation but first we want to take a break and get everything back together again and mount it back into the telephone so we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with this telephone. So we're going to kind of uh, run through a little bit about what went on with this telephone and then we're going to do our final checks. And so basically uh, we have taken the old programmable main PC boards out and replaced them with uh, what we needed to put in uh, our network and we have our uh, connection block and modular port that we have installed and uh, finished off our bell circuit and rewired everything the way we needed it to be wired so that it would work the way we want it to work. And so now what I can do is go ahead and plug in um, our modular line cord. So all John has to do is bring in the modular line cord to the back of the telephone, make a simple clean connection into the modular port and then he's ready to go. Uh, the other plug that needs to be plugged in is your connection between your body and your base unit. So, and it only goes one way. It has a little uh, standoff and it has a notch in it. So there's only one way it can be uh, put into the base or the body of the telephone and you want to make sure that that's plugged in. The other uh, issue here is John did not say that he wanted a cash box but I want to show you what a cash box would have looked like for this unit and we're going to talk about that in a little while so I'm going to kind of set that to the side. Now that is uh, one of the shop cash boxes and we have a few in case a customer uh, would like them and uh, and orders one or wants it installed in a payphone when they're finished up. So now what we can do is um, I'm going to go ahead and ring the telephone. I'm going to let that go a couple times and I'm going to stop the ring. I'll let it go one more time. I'm going to go ahead and stop that and we're going to go ahead and take a short break from the video so I can put the body back on to the base of the unit and then uh, we're going to do the rest of our final check so we'll be right back. Okay, We have uh, reinstalled our body now and John has his own T key so he will not need this 
T key. But we did install, and on this side you can see the lock and key that we installed. And then we also installed a key and a lock for the vault door. So basically we're going to go ahead and move the vault out of the way. We also want to move our vault door out of the way. And we want to go ahead and ring the telephone again. We'll let that go a couple times. I want to give you some dial tone. Then we want to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you watch the numbers go by. I'm going to end in a 2. And now I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch the analyzer, that red light, every time I transmit into the handset, when that red light lights up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six, hello, hello. So we know the telephone rings. We know it receives. We know that it uh, transmits and that it dials out. Let's go ahead and move it over to a regular line. And we'll call a time and temp number. Give you some dial tone. Good evening. When you need body work, we're a short drive away. Offenberg Body Center 2340330. Today is Wednesday, February 27th. The time is 8.09. Current temperature 39 degrees. Now the Belleville area weather forecast. Cloudy with a 30 to 40 percent chance of light snow tonight and Thursday. Low tonight around 30. Thursday's high upper 30s. Okay. We can call one other number. We can call my number and it'll be busy. Houston Dow Tone. Okay, now what we can do is we can put some money uh, into this telephone, some change. And I'll show you how these boxes work if you're not familiar with them. Um, they have a catch on them. And so what would happen is you can't move the catch or put the box, the money box, into the telephone until you lift the lid and reset the locks and you want to turn that clockwise and that will click into place and now your latch will move so what you want to do is go ahead and install it into the phone now what we can do is we can drop some money into the unit. We'll go ahead and do a quarter. We'll do a dime. We'll do a nickel. We'll do another quarter. We'll do a dime. and a nickel. Now in case any coins get caught up in this unit, the coin return or what's called the coin release will send it down into your little coin return drawer. And so now what we can do is we can pull our box out, our cash box, We can open it up. And pour our change out. 
and these these lids do come off. They just have hooks on them there, and these little keepers keep it on. Now what we do is we reset the mechanism again. You turn it clockwise. It'll click into place. You shut your coin box, and you can lock it. And now you're set to go again. Now you wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to pull the re or the um, the bracket forward because now it won't go into the coin uh, area and the vault area of the telephone. So you want to make sure that you set that. Click it into place. Go ahead and shut your box. And now it's ready to go because your bracket will move and it, that will allow you to slide it into the telephone. So, and like I said, this is a shop uh, cash box. And if John decides he wants this, then he uh, can see it and uh, let us know. But uh, this telephone is complete, really because he has his locks now, lock and key for his body, lock and key for the uh, vault, and he has his T key. So what we want to do now is uh, go ahead and put our vault door on, and then we can lock it. This is a very nice example of a single slot payphone with some really cool informational cards in this unit. And uh, John's got a nice telephone here. And now that we know that it has been converted and repaired, we can return it to John and he can start enjoying his telephone. And he will not have to worry about any kind of a programming issue or down the road, you know, the telephone stop working for him because of the fact that a programmable board is uh, keeping him from being able to use his telephone because we totally got away from that situation. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.